measured in excess of 100 feet deep. Now this corner here was quite a problem for the loggers. It was actually the site of many large log jams. The world's largest taking place in 1886. You can imagine lumber stacked as high as the corner rock here off to the front right of the boat, over 50 feet high, and then backed upstream for over seven miles. It took several weeks, several hundred men, teams of horses, log rafts, and finally dynamite to blow that single log jam free. It was estimated to be enough lumber in that single jam to build approximately 20,000 three-bedroom homes. Now, I must caution those of you in front of the pilot house, we do need to blow the horn one more time for the corner. Now, if you continue looking at this corner rock, from this side, you can see how angle rock has been divided into three equal vertical sections, almost as if someone has cut it with a knife. Now, if you go to that middle section of rock today, come about... I'm going to say six and a half feet off the water's edge, you'll see a steel ring. There'll be another one of these steel rings, about even with the railing on the upper deck as we go around the corner. Four more embedded into the corner rock itself. All together, there's over a hundred of these steel rings still left in the two Dells areas today. They were put in by the loggers. They're made from a high-quality Swedish bell steel, which has not rusted or corroded in the past 150 years. If you were to hit these with a rock or a hammer, they actually chime much like a bell. Hmm. We're tied up to a hook Where? back at dock that has kind of a unique thing See? going on. Just underneath right there, it, chisel right under the rock, the rock is right the advertisement for the company oh, on the same call. That we actually came and installed that hook. What's unique about that advertisement is, is they only left a four-digit telephone number if you'd like to give them a call today. Now back before the two towns of Taylor's Falls and St. Croix Falls were settled, the Sioux and the Chippewa Indian tribes were very prevalent here in this area. In later years came the